this guy on there who's really, really dynamic. His name is, uh, I think they call him Issue X. Like, yeah, he's got a face for radio. He's, uh, he's kind of a he's, he's kind of a jerk. He's got a great uh, he's got a great speaking voice. <laughs> uh, he's kind of a jerk. Who's I don't that? know what's going to happen to him when he starts uh, showing his face, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, 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 guy, this, this guy, this guy, issue I thought X. I was getting an echo. Oh, it's gone now. This guy, issue X, he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> I don't know if you've met him yet, Joe, but he's kind of a jerk. No, but I like him. The, the liberal <laughs> echo chamber that you were, that you were hearing. Yeah, you've been, you've been, you've definitely been on an echo chamber tangent as of late there, Joe. I have? Yes. In, in what that's, way? <laughs> that's, that's kind of been like a sub theme on Facebook. I've, I've seen you refer to echo chambers in one way or in some form or another in, in, a, in a couple different posts. I, yeah, I guess that's just probably a term, a, 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 a term, a term I've used uh, just, just, just to refer, just, just to refer to people who live in a bubble. Mm. Mm. You got to break that down for me, echo chamber. Echo like chamber. Um, I think I think it's uh, it's it, it, I I don't know where I first heard the term, but I think it's basically just just like a giant like like a giant room that's shaped like a chamber where people just say one thing and it echoes off the walls and everyone else like agrees with them. Like it may, I, I don't know. Okay. Where okay. I wait, okay. Wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Joe. Did you say that shaped like a chamber? Yeah. I don't even know what a chamber is shaped like. It might, <laughs> That's it's, why it's I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I have an inexact so, analogy. I can, shaped I, like I a mean, space. I, I can, I can add to that. I mean, it's, it's, uh, and this is just a, a lot of this is, inference and just um just uh taking it from um uh context but i think it's it's based it's based on a, a space uh that's like in the musical world right so you have these rooms that are shaped in a very specific way where the music beautifully bounces off of the walls in certain ways and they probably spend x amounts of money and you want certain types of music, whether it's orchestral or classical music or whatever, in certain shaped halls. So you have certain places where you say the room is dead. You speak, you get no reverberation, you get no like beautiful sound, you just get what you put out there and it just dies. Then you have these places where you speak and it's this loud like Pavarotti voice and it just reverberates through the whole place and it sounds like beautiful and the, so, and the voices come together so the and echo chamber, chamber, so the two, echo chamber yeah sorry no no I was, I was just gonna say that's actually that actually fits because the image of someone giving a speech like in a Pavarotti style could be um, like someone like liberal or or conservative basically giving a speech to their to their to their followers and having it echo back like people are just applauding and uh, just sort of sort of like hanging on every word so that that I see I didn't even think about it that way I just sort of use the term but I think that's that's a really good way of envisioning it well it's interesting because there are two areas in buffalo that i've heard described as echo chambers and you can okay. they, the effect the effects are are ridiculous like there's a hallway in city hall okay in the in the way that it's designed and it's shaped it's a very long hallway and you can be at one end of the hallway yes and i can be at the other end of the hallway and i could speak okay. to i could i could speak to someone in just a regular speaking voice and yeah. you'll hear it as if i was standing next to you have they and, filmed any movies there? Uh, no, because City Hall won't let you. And then oh, there's man, a, that's too bad. There's a circle. You probably know this. That little circle outside of Miller Fillmore Hospital. It's like a circle of stone benches. It's a hmm. complete circle. And it, okay. it the cir it's 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 one can eat it's 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 broken up by sidewalk. But okay. it's it's broken into four sections, and each section is like a half circle of a half circle bench right okay and it's got it's made out of stone white stone and okay. it's got it, the backs of the bench are white like it's got backs too 
So it creates this echo chamber where if I'm sitting on the bench, on one bench, no matter where you're sitting in that circle, if I whisper, you'll hear me as if I'm sitting right next to you. And this is outside? Yeah, it's outside. Okay. You'll, you'll hear me as if I'm sitting right next to you, okay. even though you're sitting across the circle. And these benches are like it, tall or? Yeah, they're tall. As in they have backs to them. Like you can okay. lean back on them. It's like, it surrounds like a, what would be a fountain. I okay. want to say maybe there's an obelisk or a statue there. Like it's, it's big, they're big. It's right outside sure. of Miller Fillmore Hospital in Buffalo. It's like okay. a big circle. And you people go in there and they just sit and it's these white stone benches, you know, like same material they make monuments out of and such. Yeah. You know, and it's, they're curved. And that's on so, the east side? It's on the east side of Buffalo? Millard Fillmore is, uh, I want to say Elmwood, North, not North Buffalo, but West Side, North Buffalo area. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So cool. that circle out right outside is like an echo chamber inside okay. of that circle. You, I mean, I could talk, I could talk, I could whisper and anyone in that circle is going to hear what I said. They don't even have to be standing next to me because it just passes down around the circle. Okay. Uh, we have one of these in uh, New York City, you've probably been to uh, uh, Joey. It's, um, it's, it sounds like what he was describing in City Hall in Buffalo, but it's one of the subways. Um, and it's a long kind of, a, it's a long narrow passageway. And sometimes there's like a musician in there and uh, it carries like really well. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I think I have been there. Yeah, I think me and my me and my friend might have played there once, just so we could hear what it would sound like. But it's oh, um, that that had to be awesome because you have oh, that I like bet. Yeah. <laughs> tone to your voice. That that might that sounds that might have been really awesome. Yeah, that was a good time. I'm trying to remember if we actually did that um, or not. I feel like you should pan you should panhandle by profession. You'd make money. <laughs> we did we did a little we did a little bit we did a little bit they'd have they'd have you one on like got america's got talent really we got a check a check one time that was cool um, they'd have you on like america's got talent or something yeah so yeah the look so the political echo chambers are basically like people who agree with each other kind of echoing each other's thoughts and patting each other on the back um sometimes um Sometimes I don't like, sometimes I'll recognize it happening within our group and I'll get really disinterested in the conversation. So it's very interesting when we're talking about reconstructing conversations and stuff like that. I'm kind of sensitive to that because I'll get bored if I feel like we're reconstructing something and I'll get bored if I feel like I'm just talking the same old woke political stuff that has been talked about like ad infinitum and yeah exactly. you know sometimes and sometimes it's like hey maybe not everyone's talked about it so we got to think about think about the group dynamic but it just feels like it's like i don't want to talk about stuff that we're all just agreeing with and we're all just preaching to each other's choirs and, and stuff like that yeah because it's not that. it's not interesting i mean that's that's partly why like i I kind of got bored sometimes, for instance, like I used to listen to the Chapo Trap House podcast uh -huh. and, I, and I got I got bored after a while because I felt like, you know, it was just, they were just preaching to the choir and I, I basically agreed and it wasn't really